Next, the masked magician will perform a trick that street magicians have used to mystify unsuspecting victims who end up believing in freakish powers. He'll use a deck of cards and an assistant as his random volunteer. He begins removing the cards a few at a time, telling the girl to say stop whenever she wants. And she does. The card that remains at the top of the stack is offered for her inspection. The magician turns his back so we can get a better look at the card and the girl. King of clubs. He asks her to hold the card tightly to her chest. Lucky card. Then he shows her an ordinary lighter. That's a real flame. So remember, don't try this at home. Ouch! That's what happens when you play with fire. See, a blister. Painful. There it is, as if we needed a better look. Next, he tells the girl to concentrate on her card, promising to reveal it with his freaky powers. Looks like she wants him to prove it. Again, he takes the lighter and pinches the flame. Ouch! I told him it was hot. But what's this? Burned into his flesh are a K and a club for the king of clubs. Freaky, isn't it? But I bet he's burning to tell us the secret. So, how did the magician reveal that he knew the chosen card by branding the image in his flesh? Here are the secrets. Let's start with the cards. The magician knew which card the girl would choose all along, because before the trick began, he marked the location of the king of clubs with his little finger. He removes a few cards, and when the girl tells him to stop, he removes one final stack. The card on top of the remaining pile is the one he offers to the girl. This is how he makes sure she chooses the king. The magician knows which card she'll choose, but how does he brand the symbols into his skin? The secret here is concealed within the lighter. Embossed into the sides of the lighter are stencils, representing three values on one side and three suits on the other. The small circle on the bottom is the stencil the magician uses to convince us that he's caused a blister with the lighter. He turns his back as the volunteer shows her card, and at the same time, he's gripping the bottom of the lighter tightly. The circle leaves a temporary impression on his thumb that looks like a blister. He pretends to burn his thumb and shows us the phony blister to prove it. Next, he tells the girl to think of her card and promises her he can guess what it is. He's really just stalling as he squeezes his thumb and forefinger against the stencils for the club and the king. This tight pressure will leave the appropriate markings in his flesh. When he pretends to burn himself the second time, he can reveal the impressions which have been secretly left by the stencils. And now, you know the secrets. <laughs>